7 Steps to Raise the Vibration of the Planet. As you may have noticed, we have been inundated with fear campaigns from every media source known to modern society, from television and radio to alternative news, internet sites, advertisements, global mood-altering technology, chemical infusion via water, chemtrails, and food. You name it, it's being done. Everywhere we turn, we are told there is badness happening. If we want to stay pure of body and mind, we have to work very, very hard. Switch off the TV, radio, filter our internet consumption, drink distilled or filtered water, treat our food to clean pollutants, stay indoors during heavy chemtrail spraying, do regular purification and cleansing routines. The list goes on and on. But all that, all that effort will have no effect if we stay in a state of fear. That's where our own impeccability and integrity come in. Why are we going through so much effort to cleanse ourselves and stay pure? The reason is very important as it will dictate the results. If it is done because we are afraid, then no matter how many salt baths we take or what we ingest, we are playing right into the low vibrational game field. If we are doing this because it makes us feel good, vibrant, filled with life, energy, and capacity to do, then we are on the right track. If I drink alcohol, I get a buzz. Then I get fuzzy, my capacity to drive goes to zero, although I would say I was perfectly capable. My capacity to make good decisions is lowered. My capacity to care is gone. In other words, living in a drunk state creates a certain life that is different to the one that I would create sober. It's very, it is not very functional. It needs people to take care of me drive me places, make food, look after my child, and all sorts of things. In other words, I can live like a child, not responsible for anything, unable to do, and await on those who love me, on society, and on myself. As long as I can get a drink, stay buzzed, I won't give a shit, so all is good in the world for me. It is full of physical pleasure, satisfaction, and childlike, look after all my needs, energy. And this is how most the humans on the planet are living their lives, by choice, in a state of drunken irresponsibility. It is us, the human collective, who have chosen this path, not the white man taking over native lands by killing everyone, but the natives co-creating the destruction of the planet by living, by liking the alcohol and dropping the ball on being the planet's caretakers and instead going into a drunken stupor. Anyone who has native blood running through their veins or lives close to native people in the Western world knows that I, knows what I am talking about. We have at least one relative or friend who is an alcoholic or drug addict who has wreaked havoc in our or our family's life. The alcohol and drug problem is horrendous. It hurts. Yet, this very poignant example is not really about Native people or white men. It is about us. It is about each person reading this article. It is no longer about who is to blame, who feels guilty or is guilty, It's not about anger, fight, flight, fear, attacking, or defense. It's not about giving away our power or our authority to the native shaman, our spiritual leader, or the white government. It is about us realizing that we are powerful and can create any reality we want and can do it now. How is that? We 
are the native people of the planet. No matter what race our body is, no matter where our or- original soul evolution path, our soul's home is, we are human now. We embody a body of earth, created of Gaia's earth and water. We resonate with the caretaker energy. We, reading this article, know that we are here to co-create a pure, clean, healthy, abundant, and free world. We know it. We are alive. We breathe. We live. We love here on this planet. Otherwise, we would not be reading this material. We would have unsubscribed from this website. Call to action. So, what do we do? One, we acknowledge that we are all actively co-creating the world we live in today. No one is to blame. No one to allot guilt to, including ourselves. Two, we know that no matter what pollutants and fears get thrown our way, we don't have to ingest it or be affected by it. Three, we process our fear, our guilt, our anger, our blame of ourselves and others, and our judgment. Four, We become the planet, person, being we aspire to experience in our own lifetimes. This is an act of choice and intent. Five, we move in small steps, guided by the energy of integrity and impeccability, making daily choices of words, actions, thoughts, and emotions that are aligned with that earth we want to experience. Six, take action in our local area. Write, speak, do what we know co-creates the world we know exists within us all, and do it from a place of non-judgment. Seven, Refuse to ingest the drug of drama, fear, hate, anger, judgment, and complacency. And join with Gaia in being your true self, your sovereign, empowered human being that you were born to be. Are you ready? I am. This article is brought to you by Anelia Benz. You can find more articles at aneliabenz.com or join in on the conversation at walkwithmenow.com.